Again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Welcome to another 100 degree day. Well, actually, it's only 93. Woo, it's freezing. Anyway, this is a canning funnel, and my idea is, well, based on the fact that I've been trying to edit volume two of the book, the pictures and the descriptions on the videos from 101 to, uh, to 200, I've been checking out inversion pours, and I miss them. They make some spectacular accidental art, and I'm in the mood to make some spectacular accidental art. So I'm going to knock on wood and blow away all the pollen I see from them mowing the lawn, oh my god, everywhere, and uh, hope that I can work with my smaller OXO omelet turning spatula, because I'm not finding my larger OXO omelet turning spatula, the best paint spreading spatula in the world. Anyway, uh, please don't let the dog out. Okay. So, I'm going to be putting paint in there in a moment, and for right now, I think, oh boy, you know what, I really want to start a different way. I want to start a way like I have been starting and see what I can do with it. This paint is hot. It's probably a way different temperature than the other. I've got an edge catcher. I know I do. I just brought a bunch out, and let's just use something that we've got here. That's not what I want to use. Okay, this one will work. So, lately I've been spreading paint by letting it flow onto an edge catcher and then throwing it back again. And I kind of want to do it again. It covers the edges really well and sometimes it sells nicely. And it's always a good way to spread paint. Even though I love my OXO omelet turning spatula for spreading paint, I like things that will change up the design a little bit. And it's a super hot day here, so I'm going to just keep doing what I did in a different place. I probably wouldn't do this if I didn't have the big bottles, because it's just so much easier to get it out fast. But that has a lot to do with how hot the day is, too. I'm just going to keep doing the very same thing. You know me, if I get to the point and I like what I've got, I might just decide that I want to keep it. But I don't think that that's the case. And I didn't overdo, whoops, I didn't overdo the paint on the other side because I wanted to be able to not have an excess running off. Now, I also have a desire. Let's put some more paint on there since that was obviously not quite enough. And I want, I really do want enough paint to cover the whole canvas, with the exception of the center. It doesn't matter if something goes in there right now at all. And it doesn't matter if the paint is even, as long as I can keep it pulled on the canvas, excuse me, pulled on the edge catcher. Let it flow right down to the other side. And let it run back in. And I'm gonna have the odd space like this one, and I've got all kinds of paint that I can just take right off my edge catcher. Just call this edge catcher 101. Let's grab some more of that paint. As long as my hand is under the edge catcher, or my arm. Now probably none of this is going to stay. I'm going to put that aside for a minute, because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link, Volume 1 underneath the video where, okay, you can't get rid of it and use it again. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. I get silly. Boy, those cells are really neat. You know what? I want some more paint on there. And I think what I'm going to do to facilitate time is just use my spatula. Because I don't think it ever hurt anything. Especially not my spatulas. I love my little Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas. They're great. So we have quite a bit of paint, and quite a bit of it is where it's supposed to be, covering the edges. Stick my fingers in the holes. Don't worry about it. Could use some white in there. I wouldn't mind some white. That would be kind of cool. I didn't think of that. Maybe that's what I should do. Since we're already making a mess of ourselves, <laughs> let's do that on this side because we can. We'll just tip that around and back and see what happens to white if it sinks. 
Try not to waste too much paint, but I'm pooling some and that's working out all right. Let's see what happens. We're not losing too much on the other side, although I am willing to make a mess today. Lately, I've been in messy mode, sorry. I am gonna go ahead and take the paint that I see again, right off the edge catcher, scrape her up, put her down. There's a bunny hop in there somewhere. Only older folks will know what I'm talking about. All right, so now I've got a nice big gap right down the center of my artwork, which is where I want it. And I have enough paint on my spatula so that if I decide to, yeah, I've got some edges that are covered. A great many of them, actually. That's looking pretty good. This is definitely a wicked experiment. So what I'm thinking is, usually I would put a lot of paint in the center, and I might still do that to put my funnel pour into, which is like, let's do that. I could use a torch, but I don't want to set up the surface yet because I want everything to keep moving nicely. I can't believe I haven't wasted more paint, to be honest with you. And if I swipe through here, I'll show you. Where's my spatula? I didn't throw it in the bucket. There it is. If I swipe through here, we're going to like pop cells like crazy. Watch, it won't happen at all. <laughs> that's funny. You've got to admit, that's a little That's a little amusing. No cells for you. <laughs> that's funny. How did I know that was going to be the case? All right, so I've just wasted some paint. That's okay. So now I've got white paint in the center. And a desire to use my spatula an un uncontrollable desire to use my spatula. All right, so that's all nice. And I'm going to take any paint I have that's extra and let it go down on the edges. You can't go wrong with gold and black and white. You really can't. That's going in the bucket. I'm going to wash that off. I might want it again, so I'm going to wipe it off also. Always good to keep your spatulas clean, if at all possible. So here goes nothing. I want... I want to use a light color at the bottom. I want to use any color that will come out of a container, and that is not one of those. All right, so let's go for something else. That is an Art Mines that I am just splooging right into the bottom and mixing up with the white paint, and that's okay. Let's see what's... Uh, that's a Prussian Blue. You can use any Prussian Blue, and they usually only come in bottles. Or, um, yeah, they only usually come as a thick version as far as I'm concerned so far. So um, everything is mixable. That looks like I didn't shake it well. I love this color. I did shake a lot of these. I am going to throw some of that. That's a minty green color shift from Folk Art. What else do I want in there? I want something obnoxious. Um, I like the yellow with the gold. Not necessarily that I'm going to get... Ah, oh, I got something. So what makes me want orange more than yellow? Nothing. <laughs> so I'm basically releasing a rainbow, and pretty quick here, I'm going to have too much paint, but I haven't got any magenta red on there yet, and I want some. That's not the color I want. Is it? Maybe it is. How about this other magenta red? And do I want a little bit of white pearl? I might. Where is it? It's right there. The furthest one from me. I'm going to close the bottles on my big bottles. And we have cells. There is no silicone in my mix. We have plenty of cells. And I'm going to take my smaller bottle of black and shake it up. Um, maybe I'm not. Maybe what I'm going to do is take my magenta even though I might lose some of it. Making sure it will come out. It's not really impressing me that it wants to come out very thoroughly. I'm peeling out the dry paint in the top on video. Yeah, you can see that, right? Um, I'm teasing. I'm sorry. Never mind. So I'll use this other magenta. I can't really see what I'm doing, but I am creating a puddle of paint right around the center. And I'm going to move all of this back because I do expect to be 
tipping or tilting this painting. So in theory, if we let this paint out slowly, Yeah, it's still going to be too much pain, isn't it? Oh well. It's been a long time since I did one of these. It is what it is. I won't worry about it. But I'm not going to waste any. So I'm going to take that out of there and put it right in the bucket. Just in case you ever want to know, my buckets always have scrubbies in them. I'm going to get that black paint off my arm before I look like a Dalmatian, which is kind of what I look like already. With that black paint on my arm. All right, so here goes nothing. Not so sure I'm as in love with that yellow as I thought I would be. I don't know why the white is running like that. I have no idea. You can kind of see where your patterns and designs are and choose, if you're lucky, where you allow them to tip to. Now, what I really kind of wanted to do was go ahead and give myself some permissions, i.e., take my basting brush and see what would happen if I allowed myself to stripe a few things. I'm not super pleased yet. I also haven't used any, I haven't used a torch and I kind of want to. At a certain point in time, if I use the torch, it'll be too late if it gets, starts to get gummy. But um, I also may not want to tip if I have beautiful patterns. And I do kind of have beautiful patterns. Not sure what I've got here that I'm in love with yet. I am going to rinse that off and dry it off and find my edge catcher again. Maybe, oh, maybe I really just want to torch and find out what it looks like first. I kind of want to scoop some of it up and put it in that corner. Can I do that? I wonder if I can. Now I've got paint on my spatula. That's better. Kind of like that. I'm not Dutch pouring, but I am blowing a few things. I kind of like that. I think it's time to go ahead and give myself a moment to torch and see if there's anything else I might want to do. Just like throw some chain in there. I don't use any, I see that, I don't use any silicone in my paint to make cells, but I do use Deco Up Pouring Medium and Floetrol Mixed as the second half of my recipe. The first half of my recipe is always adding GAC 800 because I like to leave my paint thick. And I only add 20% of that and it works for me fine that way. So it's two parts GAC 800 to, I got some gaps, to uh, eight parts paint, thoroughly mixed, and then double your volume. the flow turn on the decor pouring medium. I do see I have a few canvassy spots. This is kind of cool. I'm kind of wondering what if anything I might want to do when chain is calling me hard. I'm trying to think if I have any other new tools I haven't been playing with lately. But I think I think I love those little cells and I don't want to destroy too many of them. But I also love playing. I got so much paint on this canvas that I could tip again and change everything completely if I wanted to. I would like some definition in things, you know, to add some dimension. I'm just sort of destroying beautiful things as I go, as well as making cool things, too. Now, if I do the loop on this... I'll get some loops. 
I always wondered what I could do with gold on a chain already. So this is really playtime for me. I haven't been able to be outside for days. It's hot and I had a class and that was cool. And now I've got to edit, edit the volume two of the book, which is, by the way, the second one in the series, volume one, is on the Amazon link. I might have mentioned that already, like 2,000 times. Um, I want to say thank you guys for keeping me painting all this time. Really appreciate that. This is cool. I'm happy with this. Um, just playing with lots of techniques and having a good time. Not worrying about much. Just doing something you know will kind of work and, and then just elaborating on it works for me. Um, I want my bamboo skewer. And a few spirals. Never hurt anybody, and you'll hear me say that the whole time that I'm painting. But this is really pretty in so many ways. I'm I'm very happy with this. And I'm not. I'm I'm happy. I have a little white in there. I don't. I don't think it. Uh, well, I should say. I don't think I would have minded to have a little more, but I'm not minding what I've got at all. So I want to tell you guys that there's always a contest going for contributors to the studio. Um, I'm not sure when next month's drawing will be, but I would imagine it will be sometime in July or early August. And if you contribute to the, keep the studio rolling through PayPal or pay, Patreon, whose links are under the video and on the channel header, and I actually per, prefer PayPal, it's just easier. We've got two minutes for me to tell you whatever I need to tell you. And I am torching again because I want to make sure there are no bubbles coming up in this. And I want to also keep an eye out and make sure there are no canvas spots showing because it wasn't perfect as I went around. But I'll probably have some paint, you know, hanging out on my tile that I can stick in places if there are any. This is intense and very cool and I'm happy with it. Um, I told you guys I love you and if I didn't, I will again. I want to say thank you to over 67,000 subscribers, probably well on my way to 65. Um, there are classes at the studio in Spring Hill. I do sell my artwork. You may inquire through EASPBGallery, the word gallery, at gmail.com or um, contact me through YouTube and I'll give you that email again. If you want to shop the Amazon link at no added cost to you, it's right under the video under show more and you help me out a little bit with every purchase and it all adds up in the end. I really appreciate that. Um, what else? I have Pinterest and Instagram links. Come to my Instagram. We got 1,800 followers there now, and I post my new work there all the time. That's where that's the freshest feed. It's also linked on my web page, and on the end screens you'll find my web page and um, links to subscribe and a video playlist of all of my fluid acrylics pouring. Um, 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 I'm doing that um um thing again. Uh, <laughs> And the contest, there's usually a video there that shares with you what the prizes will be on any given month. If I've forgotten something, and I'm sure I have, um, you'll forgive me. I love you guys, and I don't know about that. Where is it? I think I, you're going to be gone in a second. I think I want... Oh, can I have it, please? No, really? Ah! Well, I guess I got it. Anyway, so, I love you guys. I'll see you in another video. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida. At Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Going to come again. And, uh, oh, that's what I wanted to tell you. Please, please, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, watch more videos, too, including the commercials if you can, if you want to help me. You're of great assistance by doing so. The YouTube algorithm places my videos, gives it priority placement whenever I have lots of people watching more of my videos or giving me lots of thumbs up and I really appreciate that. That helps me out. If you can't contribute, you are contributing. And thank you guys for the wonderful comments. I love you all and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batso. I said that part already. Alright. I can always tell you I love you again. I know I never get tired of hearing it. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.